This is a transaxle or transmission from a 2006 Pontiac G6 with a 3.9 liter engine. Uh, the transaxle is the MFR CDMT2. This is a six speed transmission. So the purpose of this video is to show the flow of power and also to show the gear reduction involved in those gears. Um, keep in mind as we're going through the gear reduction that this has the final drive incorporated with it since it is a transaxle. So the gear reduction is going to be significantly higher than if it was just the transmission itself. Um, so to start off, we're going to just go through the gears real fast. We'll show you the flow of power of first, for specifically of first and sixth, because um, those are kind of easy to see. So I'll turn it around real quick. And if you watch right here, this is going to be the fork that selects first and second. And I'll just go ahead and select first gear for it. So you can see there, I'll do it one more time. Once again, look at this fork, selecting first gear. All right. So as we select first gear, and the way the power goes through it, it comes from the engine into the input shaft right here. And then it selects the, the set of first gears, and then it exits out through the final drive, which is the differential in this transaction. And to start off, we'll start with first gear and we'll show the actual ratio involved with that. And we've got these painting lines for you to see. So this is the final drive again. So the ratio, because this is the final drive, is going to be significantly, um, it's going to be significantly more reduced. Gear reduction, I should say. So we'll start off here. I'll spin it once. So it's once for this shaft. There's two. There's three, it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, and 14. So it's about a 14 to 1 ratio in the first gear. And you can tell that because the input shaft had to turn 14 times for the output shaft just to turn once. So that would be the final drive, yeah, not final just drive. the first gear drive. So as I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna count the rest of the gears because that would take a lot of time. But as you can see when I shift in a second then for, it's going to be more speed and less torque. So the gear reduction is going to be a little less. It's going to be more speed and less torque. You actually can see the gear moving faster on the left, the differential gear, because this is a transaction. So as we go on the third, same story. This is going to turn more per one turn for the input shaft. Turn faster, at least, compared to first gear. And that's the same story throughout all of them because as you get higher, first gear will be 14 to 1, and that'll be the highest gear rate reduction. And then as you get to 6 to 1, it ends up being around 3.25 to 1. And I'll show that right now. So as we select 6 gear, that's this shaft right here. So this selecting fork. So I'll go through the over time. So that's 6th. All right, the flow of power through 6 gear, the same thing it comes in through the input shaft, goes through this upper main shaft then goes down to the lower main shaft. So it goes through this six gear across to the lower main shaft and then it goes all the way back into here and comes out the final drive. So we're going to line these up real fast. Got the top lines up. That one's matched up as well. So it's, up six so it's in six gear. So it's one rotation on the input shaft, two rotations, three rotations, and it's about three and a quarter until this is turned one full rotation. So like I said, it's about a three, three and a quarter to one ratio on the sixth gear.